The 2009-2010 school year at Jeffersonville High School has many new policies that are in effect and are being strictly enforced. Policies such as dress code and no phones and electronic devices. We had a chance to talk with a few people around the school to see their thoughts. What do you think the reason for these new policies are? I think the reason these new policies are enforced is to make Jefferson High School the best school that there is out there. How do you believe this will help or make it worse? I believe it'll help. It'll just help make Jefferson High School the best school there is. What precautions will be used and enforced uh, to keep these rules in order? Well, for all you students out there, I'd keep my cell phones in my pocket and um, your lunch money in your pocket also. And what are the consequences around the school that you've seen? I've noticed that they're taking a lot of phones and uh, we're grabbing a lot of ears, so keep them tucked in. So what do you think the reason for all the new policies are? Well, I think uh, anybody who was here at Jeff High last year would know that it was utter chaos. Uh, the place was just wild. Construction people everywhere and kids everywhere and no rules were really being followed at all. Uh, do you think this will help or make it worse? I think it's already helped a lot. It's probably been the best school year, the opening of the school year that I've had in many years. Uh, everybody seems to be in order and much less confusion and I think kids are actually happier about it. And what precautions do you believe uh, that will help enforce these rules? Well, basically, the administrators are on board, but so are the teachers. We're all kind of trying to be as one and make sure that everybody um, stays with it. And you have to keep enforcing them. If you start and then stop, everybody figures it out. And then the cell phones are out, the iPods are out, the hats are on, the pants are sagging. And so we just need to be consistent, everybody. And what do you think the major consequences are? For students' actions? Well, I think some people have already been taken to ISS for dress code violations. I know people for tardies have already been assigned uh, TES, several of my own students. I haven't had to take a cell phone, but it's only because I really haven't seen one. Um, but I think there are definitely consequences, and kids are starting to feel it, and that's why we're not going to have as many problems this year. Thank you very much. What do you think the reason for these new policies are? I think the reason is that uh, a lot of the policies have been, you know, ignored and uh, or they've been enforced really loosely and there's not been a consistency uh, with the enforcement of them. How do you believe this will help or make it worse for the school? I believe in the short term, you know, it will seem pretty crappy, but in the long term it might be a good thing to, you know, enforce the rules that we have. Uh, what precautions do you think will be used to enforce these rules? I think the main precaution that they'll use is consistency. That um, if one teacher is enforcing, you know, the cell phone rules particularly well, then all the teachers need to be doing the same thing. And what are the major consequences for these actions? Have you seen? Um, you know, for the cell phones, you get them taken away and you get them back the Friday. You know, that that thing. Um, I, I don't think that they're terrible consequences. I think that they, um, you know, they're just rightfully deserved. So, all right, thank you very. And for the WJHS report, I'm Conrad O'Brien.